Although water falls under the state list, groundwater abstraction is regulated at the central and the state level. In 2020, the Department of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation notified the guidelines to regulate and control groundwater extraction in India. CGWA or Central Groundwater Authority issues an NOC for infrastructure projects and plays a crucial role in groundwater management in the country. Hello and welcome to Endoclimate. My name is Shalin Verma and in this video we will understand how one can obtain a CGWA NOC for infrastructure projects. So let's start the video with a brief about the CGWA. The Central Groundwater Authority was constituted in 1997 under subsection 3 of Environment Protection Act. The authority has been vested with the responsibility for regulating and development and management of groundwater in the country. Another vital responsibility fulfilled by this authority is to issue NOC for infrastructure projects. CGWA can handle and manage groundwater abstraction in 22 states and two union territories, where their respective state governments are not regulating groundwater development. CGWA also regulates this development and management of groundwater by issuing NOCs for groundwater extraction to industries, infrastructure projects, mining projects, etc. NOCs for abstraction of saline groundwater is also issued by the authority separately. Today, we will focus on the process of obtaining CGWA NOC for infrastructure projects that can be in the form of sewage treatment plants and effluent treatment plants, corporate office buildings, petroleum retail outlets, hospitals, nursing homes, educational institutions, colleges and schools, restaurant dhabas and hotels, shopping malls, multiplexes, theme parks, swimming pool, clubs, houses, societies, sports complex, etc. So let's now talk about the role of CGWA in brief. The infrastructure projects, mining projects and new and existing industries or those which seek expansion of the quantity of uh, groundwater to be abstracted are required to, to obtain this NOC from the state or union territory government. However, individual domestic consumers needing it for drinking and domestic uses or drinking water supply schemes in rural India, armed forces establishments and CAPF establishments, agricultural activities and micro and small level enterprises drawing groundwater less than 10 kiloliters a day do not require this NOC. There are some prerequisites for CGWA NOC also. For instance, the NOC for infrastructure project is granted only when the local government cannot supply the desired quantity of water. No new significant industries are granted a no objection certificate in overexploited assessment areas except as per the policy guidelines. NOC is also not given to new packaged water uh, industries in overexploited areas even if they belong to the MSME category. The availability of groundwater is given due priority while considering these applications. Industries drawing groundwater in safe, semi-critical and critical assessment units must pay groundwater extraction charges too. Commercial entities extracting groundwater must submit an annual water audit report including water use audit. CGWA or State Groundwater Authority SGWA is responsible for online publishing all these audit reports. Proponents are liable to pay groundwater abstraction charges for the quantum of groundwater proposed to be extracted as per the rates decided by the authority at the time of applying for this NOC. For abstracting saline groundwater, as in the case of completely saline assessment units, some requirements must be met. For instance, Constructing a piezometer in the project's vicinity and regularly monitoring the piezometric level is required. Along with it, the project will also need a real-time monitoring of groundwater quality, especially the electrical conductivity of water. In addition to that, adoption of rainwater harvesting projects as per prevailing building bylaws of the state or union territory is also mandatory for infrastructures abstracting saline groundwater. In the case of partially saline assessment units, measures to prevent pre mixing of saline water with fresh seawater and water ingress towards land and monitor the piezometric level along with immediately informing the regional office of the CGWA if the abstraction well starts yielding fresh water must be done. In this case too, the adoption of rainwater harvesting as per prevailing building bylaws of the state and union territory must be considered. Let's now understand the procedure of application for this NOC. The CGWA maintains an online portal for filling out the application form for industries, infrastructure and mining purposes. 
for new applications applicants seeking this noc must register on the portal by providing required details in the user registration form in the subsequent stages the applicant has to upload necessary documents under respective tabs finally a preview of the form appears where the person has to sign and put a seal upload a scanned pdf of the form on the application signature tab and submit the documents after the final submission of the online form an application number will be generated applications once submitted cannot be edited so one must be careful while applying this application will be forwarded to respective offices automatically there is no need to send a separate hard copy for this application the required documents for obtaining cgwa noc for infrastructure projects will depend on the quantity of groundwater abstracted key documents will include an affidavit on non judicial stamp paper of rupees 10 confirming the non or inadequate availability of public water supply a certificate from the government agency for non availability or inadequate availability of treated sewage water for construction within a 10, 10 km radius of the site bharat kosh receipt for depositing the application fees the impact assessment report by an accredited consultant in case of dewatering is also needed let's understand the validity of this noc so this noc will be valid for 5 years from the date of issue or until the local government water supply is provided to that project whichever is earlier now let's discuss the non compliance of these noc conditions cgwa can impose a penalty between rupees 50000 to 10 lakhs in the following conditions the non installation or faulty digital water flow meter within a telemetry system non disclosure or construction of additional groundwater abstraction structures non disclosure or construction of additional groundwater abstraction structures reporting of freshwater zones as brackish saline zones in the application non installation of piezometer non installation or faulty telemetry system non construction or inadequate capacity of recharge groundwater conservation structures non maintenance of recharge structures injection of treated untreated water into the aquifer system non submission of water level water quantity data non maintenance of log book of daily withdrawal or submission of groundwater abstraction data non submission of photographs recharge structures non submission of the photographs of the recharge structure and non submission of the self compliance report by now you must have an understanding of how crucial a role cgwa plays in keeping a check on water abstraction through the issue of this noc and also ensures that entities that file water audits only do so by a certified auditors groundwater abstraction for commercial use without a valid noc is considered illegal thus the proponent is liable to pay environmental compensation for the quantum of groundwater so extracted that's all for this video i hope you found it informative You can comment on this video for any business related queries involving licensing and authorization process or can contact Interclimate directly from the contact information provided. We are the leading environmental consultancy company renowned for our technology driven solutions for various environmental and licensing compliance solutions. For more information related to CGWA NOC visit interclimate.com. Thank you.